ICSI is a procedure where one sperm is injected into a single egg. And it was really designed for people with very severe male factors. So men who have fewer than a million sperm, uh, even if they have thousands of sperm, they're not going to penetrate the shell of the egg unless uh, one sperm is taken and injected into the egg. This differs from conventional IVF where 50,000 sperm surround each egg and then penetrate the shell on their own. In addition to being helpful for men with very low sperm counts, sometimes, about 8 to 9% of cases, none of the eggs will fertilize with sperm that appears totally normal. And so for unexplained infertility, occasionally that's one of the reasons that somebody's not getting pregnant. And so oftentimes patients will not want to take that 8 to 9% chance that none of their eggs will fertilize and choose to use ICSI for some or all of their eggs, even in the setting of a normal semen analysis. The data on ICSI are that it's safe, that it does not increase any risk of abnormalities in your children or in uh, selecting sperm. A lot of patients are concerned who's going to pick the sperm, how will they pick the sperm. The embryologist picks a sperm that looks normal, that's swimming and appears normal, and, and then injects that into the egg. Sometimes people are scared that maybe the embryologist will pick the wrong sperm and therefore the embryo is more likely to be abnormal or unhealthy but that has not really borne out. So we've done studies looking at uh, split ICSI, where some eggs are fertilized conventionally, some eggs are fertilized with ICSI, uh, and there does not appear to be a difference. There are no real proven downsides to ICSI. This is something that's hotly debated right now because increasingly, in order to reduce the risk of poor fertilization, uh, centers are doing all ICSI for all patients. Uh, there has been some very large retrospective studies suggesting that this might have a slightly increased risk of some adverse birth outcomes as far as gestational age um, or birth weight. But, but if there's any adverse effects, it's very, very slight in a small percentage of patients. So I think for many patients who've struggled to get pregnant, they don't want to take the risk of their eggs not fertilizing. And therefore, they often choose to do ICSI uh, as a, a initial treatment. The other benefit of ICSI is we strip the cells off the egg before injecting them. So we not only know how many eggs came out, but how many were mature and able to be fertilized. Uh, with conventional insemination, one doesn't know if the eggs were mature or not until the next day you find out if they fertilized. So there's some value when you do ICSI that you get to see, did the egg actually mature before I was trying to fertilize it?